Kurucha Sokorucha, the senator representing Imo West, has cautioned the Southeast against the agitations for Nigeria's breakup. Okorucha warned that Igbos would be the worst hit if Nigeria breaks up. The former Igbo state governor spoke in Abuja while addressing some women groups yesterday. Okorucha stressed that the Southeast should push towards fixing the country and not its disintegration. <laughs> The lawmakers stress that Igbos are nationalistic in nature. Hence, they should dismiss the urge for Nigeria's disintegration. He said it is only an Igbo man that goes to a place and remains put in that place, buys a land and builds a house for his family without feeling insecure. The Igbos will lose more if Nigeria divides. Most Nigerians' leaders who were successful had one thing or the other to do with the Igbos, it is either they married Igbo women or, or had some links with them. I can call names like former President Ulushe Gombasanjo, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, Ubamawa, just to name a few. Southeast groups like the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and the movement for the actualization of sovereignty states of Biafra, Masop, have been agitating for the disintegration of Nigeria. IPOP led by Nambi Kanu has been in the forefront calling for Biafra's actualization. Hmm, Ukurucha, Ukurucha. This man, eh? This man is just looking for trouble. I think he has overfed himself. He has nothing to say. That's why he's looking for story. Anyways, he just wants to be, just to be, wants to be important. His statements, I just, I just pray, his statement just put, does not put him in trouble. You should better go and ask questions and go and ask his colleague, Hope Uzodima, because I haven't heard his, heard his voice for a long time now. I think they have shut his mouth. Now he can't even talk again. Before he was running his mouth, he has a lot to say. Now he has nothing to say. And you, you want to start your own. God does an ex-convict has to, has, has to offer that he too is talking. They are talking, he's talking. Igbos are wasting their time. Biafrans are wasting their time. Namdikanu is a bad man. So you are the good man. You that almost ruined the lives of Imo people. You want to start your own. <laughs> Anyways, all these people, they, they don't have anything to say. All they just want is their... All, all they are fighting for is for their own selfish interests. That's all. They have nothing to say. The Igbo people has a lot to lose. You that have a, 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 a lot to gain... Why are you complaining? Why don't you go and sit and be watching and watch the drama unfold? Why are you complaining? And who asked for your advice? The Igbo people will lose. Mr. Gena, Mr. Know It All, keep your advice to yourself. Nobody needs your advice. When your advice is needed, you'll be consulted. Let's go to the comment section and hear what people have to say about what Mr. Richards has to say. See, I am not happy with Nigerian politicians. But not when it comes to the uni unity of the nation. Now it is not only Igbos, but they st they started it. Now it's not only Igbo, but they started it. Then Alsa and Yoruba. Therefore, if in the prayer and dialogue we already complete who's who started one Nigeria, one one nation, we all enjoy the outcome. But if it is as we are trying to do it our ways, I tell you the truth. Post, 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 when posterity will not forgive the three of us who started the great Nigeria in pain, I speak. Okay? That's your own opinion. Igbo leaders should, should not just condemn Biafran agitation and stop at that. They have to go on step further to tell the suffering youths of Igbo land how they will intend to correct the Preview the obvious discrimination and religion, really, really relegation of egos to the background. Okay, why I really don't know why people are really taking this whole issue in the wrong way. If the agitation of egos are not so and are, are not are not so important to them, then why are they taking it up to their head and up to their sleeps they should just let everything be let the sleeping dog lie 
I don't know why they are all taking this whole issue personally. They should let it be. Because when you know you have nothing to offer or you have no intake or something, then what you do is to just sit down and watch. Egos will lose nothing, but you and your family and so-called politicians will lose everything, okay? Someone here is saying that. And you have lost your sense before the breakup. Okay? Good talk, but it is for educated people to understand. Okay? So you're trying to tell us now that only the educated ones will understand what Rochas is saying. Other people here do not agree with that. That's why someone here is saying, Foolish man, I'm very, very sure you are not an Igbo blood. Big for nothing, okay? Igbos married all over the world, including ones from Okorocha's clan. Talk something else, sir. Okay? Like you need not to talk about when matters concerning Indigo arise. What you are saying now is that we should stay and allow your full animal stars to be killing us slowly and slowly, Abi. Okoro Usa, okay? You are a big disgrace to Igbo nation, okay? Mr. Okorosha, what you don't understand is that the breakup of Nigeria has nothing to do with individuals, marriage, and businesses. If you say, if you say this, what about Nigerians that have businesses abroad or that married white women? If Nigerians break up, we can still do businesses this time based on partnership and no tribalism or religion, okay? Okorocha and people like him will lose more if Nigeria break up, for sure. That's why he's trying to give his own opinion on the agitation matter for it to be closed down. And I really do not think, because as it is now, 95% of the South East people, none of them are ready to back down from the breakup of Nigeria. So I really don't know how many people Okorocha still has to preach to to give up on the agitation i don't think anybody needs your advice on whether the eagles lose or not and if i may ask you mr no what really have the eagle gained all this year okay everyone here is against mr okorocha i really don't know why he actually came out with this speech maybe he's trying to get the attention of the government so that Buari can notice him. Anyway, you can go to the comment section to leave your comments. And you can follow us on our YouTube channel. And click on the icon bell to get more news when more juicy news arrive. Thank you for listening.